District Library. I'm Miss Stephanie and today we are going to be making some rubber band bands. So what does that mean? Well, you can make a little band with your little one by turning a loaf tin into a guitar for them. You can also use this to make other aspects of your band as it could be a really good drum. So the possibilities are a little endless, but today we're gonna to be making the guitar with our little one. So all we need is a loaf pan. If you don't have a loaf pan, you can use even a shoebox or you could use a small casserole dish. Anything that is kind of square, rectangular-ish in shape would be easy, but hey, if you've got a nine inch cake pan and you've got big enough rubber bands, you can do this with that as well. So again, loaf pan and some rubber bands. Um, I would recommend getting some of the heavier duty rubber bands um, just to, you know, they're a little bit easier to maneuver with and they're a little bit more sturdy, especially if we're working with little ones. We don't want the really thin ones that get stretched out and have a bigger risk of breaking. But this is just very simple. You're gonna take your rubber bands, you're gonna put them on your loaf pan and you're gonna string it like a guitar. Now, depending on the age of your little one is depending on how many you want to put on here, how much you want to spread them out, but just try to get them on there and laying flat makes it a little bit easier, at least across the top, because that's where they're going to be plucking. So this can help with those fine motor, that pincer, because they can grab and pick. Um, this can also be larger motor skills, especially for really little ones um, that they can just run their hand across. And so it can kind of vary depending on the age of the child. This is a great activity to do during tummy time. If you have a really little one, um, you can put it in front of them and they can stroke it to make different sounds. If you've got a bigger kiddo, they can sit up and have this in their lap. And I'll show you some other ways when we're done with this of how you can use rubber bands for some extra activities and modify this to beyond just a guitar. So it's a little haphazard, but that's okay. This is just something fun to do. It's really good for a rainy day activity. But here we have our guitar, super simple with some rubber bands. And like I said, our littlest ones can just go right across the top of it and our older kids can work on that pincer grab and plucking the strings. And at any point in time, you can have them flip it over, give them a good uh, wooden spoon, and they can turn it into a drum or they can just hit it themselves. Um, so really fun rubber band guitar. You only need about four to six rubber bands, depending on how big your loaf pan is and your kiddo. This will also work with mini loaf pans as long as you've got small enough rubber bands. And like I said, you can find almost anything that you can wrap a rubber band around, um, casserole dishes, things like that will also work for this. This is just nice because it's lightweight um, and easy to move around and clean. So here we have it as a guitar, but if you want to up the ante a little bit, you can turn your car your guitar into a little sensory bin. So here you can see that I've added a couple toys on the inside and they're just small toys that your little one has to reach inside and figure out how to pull it out. So if you have an older kiddo, you can make this harder by placing your rubber bands a little bit closer to each other. So they have to work a little bit harder to get it out. Or if you've got a really younger kiddo, you can remove a rubber band to make the spacing a little bit bigger. Um, but you're just looking for small toys like this little monkey guy, it's not very big. I've got a shaker egg in here, just little prizes for them along the way. Now this is a good one that again, you can do on the floor during tummy time or with an older kid who can sit up. You can also use this, um, if you don't have a kid who likes to throw a lot of things, you can use this on top of a high chair but if you're afraid of your little one pulling this while in a high chair, I have another suggestion for you using rubber bands. Now, this is just a tiny little high chair tray. It's for a little travel high chair. And I just took rubber bands and again, some small toys, and I used the rubber bands to secure them to the tray. So that way your little one, when they're sitting in the chair, they have to figure out how do I get this toy out from underneath it? Older kiddos, you can make it a little bit harder, maybe two rubber bands, multiple objects, 
for younger kiddos, one or two, a simple row we had something very easy to pull out. It can help get you a couple minutes during dinner time. And again, it works on those pincer grass. It works on grabbing objects for younger kids. And it gives a nice little activity to work on those skills. So um, my high chair tray is a little bit too big for the rubber band sizes I have. So just be mindful. You might need slightly bigger rubber bands if you want to try this on a high chair. But you can start a rubber band band with your guitar. Or here are some other ways that you can utilize those rubber bands and up the ante and have some extra activities for your little one. I hope you enjoyed this episode of DIY Baby Time and have found some creative ways to band together and have fun with your little one. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.